this is an exercise for beginner bass players where you'll be picking with two fingers and trying to build up some strength in, um, on the fretboard and a bit more accuracy. So I'll play the riff and then break it down and explain it so you can have a go at it. So it's just three notes, but a sequence of six notes because some of the notes are repeated. So that's the pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, six notes repeated round and round. And in this hand, um, once you've got this hand sorted out, you can concentrate on the on the on the picking. But we'll deal with that in a minute. So I'm using either fingers one and three or one and four. Um, you can alternate between the two, but I'll just break down the movement and how you can get that done. So finger one on fret two, string four is the first note. Then without moving your wrist, put finger three down on fret four, string four, and then move your wrist up so that finger one or your index finger is on fret four, string four, play that note again, and then you've got to get an octave, which is this note, which is fret six, string two, and then once you've got there, you've got to go back where you came from to fret four, string four, again with your index finger. Then the sixth note in the sequence is you move your wrist down again to where it starts in the first place and play string four, fret four, again, with, in this case, your third finger. So that's the pattern. I'll play it a little bit slower. So. So close to that. Looks like this. So the, the next exercise is when you're using fingers one and four, you start off with finger one on fret, fret two, string four, and then finger four, fret four, string four. Move your hand up so that now finger one is on fret four, string four, and then the octave with finger four goes up to string two, that's fret six, string two, and then back down to fret four, string four with your index, then the sixth note in the sequence, you play string four, uh, fret four with your little finger, or, or finger four, and then the sequence starts again. So I'll just do that really slowly. When you've got that pattern in your head, you can start concentrating on um, your picking hand. So what's going on there is I'm going alternating between the two. So that's finger one, that's finger two. I'll call out the fingers that I'm using to pick. One, two, 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 one. So on string four, finger one and two on the first two notes. So it's like this. And then you've got to jump from string four to string two on the next two, on the next three notes because it starts here. One, two, three notes, and then back and then down. So it's finger one, finger two, and then finger one again. So one and two, one, two, one, two, one. that and I'm muting the note between each note and raising my finger off of the fretboard still holding on to the string so it breaks the note as opposed to continuing on between the notes like this that's without breaking the note and then if you if you just raise your relax your hand um, I'm using my thumb on the back of the neck to hold the pressure as opposed to like using my thumb um, which you could do but this is just to strengthen your finger so you're holding the, the note down hard and your finger is in between the two frets and 
if you don't hold down hard enough then you you get a rattle you want to avoid that rattle by getting your finger a little bit closer to the fret you want to aim for and, and hold and hold down hard what's going to happen is you'll build up calluses on on, um, on your fretboard hand um, and uh, also with your picking hand you're going to start getting blisters there if you play for too long so Take a break once in a while and see if your fingers are feeling a bit tender and stop if they, uh, if they do feel a bit sore because you're going to wind up getting blisters and that will stop you playing for a longer period than if you just play for a little bit less and build up strength more slowly. Uh, there's a tendency, I always, I still get blisters, I'm not a bass player but I love playing bass so much that I wind up getting blisters all the time. Uh, 